Good evening. Welcome to Palmetto Cats, where we unpack the anglers of YouTube. Tonight, we have a very special guest, as in every week. But tonight, this one is a little bit different. Because although he does have a YouTube channel, he's more of a viewer, says he. But we have Michael Marillo in the house. Hey, Mr. Marillo, how you doing? Doing pretty well. How's it going? Hello, everybody. Doing good, man. I love that shirt. You want to show off that shirt? Oh, yeah. Uh, Mighty River Catfishing. I begged Chris to, to get some petite guy size shirts in, and sure enough, he did. He sure did. <laughs> and I got the uh, realistic fishing. Now that's realistic. Oh, you better rub that then, right? Rub maybe, maybe, he'll, maybe he'll take it and put it in a video. <laughs> So how's the night treating you, man? I, he, you just put the girls to bed. Yes, Kristen just took the girls up there. Or yeah, you sent them with Kristen to put. <laughs> I seemed to get Lauren in trouble right before she went up there. I was yeah. supposed to be the one to unhook the tablet. I was like, "Hey, get your tablet and go upstairs." Uh -huh. Because I was just excited because we were chatting. <laughs> yeah, we got to chat a little bit. She's hilarious, just like yeah. her dad. <laughs> I hope that she would actually get good to uh poke in here and disturb us a few times since she's so funny <laughs> hey catfish headhunters catfish and crappy fishing with the chad fishing with squirrel d roger muskrat mike turner avid avid i hope you're doing well man s smith cat um let's see scroll on sampy fin seeker tv who else we got who else we got? Let me catch up. LG Bass. Hey, Tom. Um, Catfish and Crappy. Hey, Mark. Scroll down. Make sure I don't miss anybody so we can get caught up. Kevin Baker. Uh, Ace. How are you doing? Terry Lane. My wife. A Little Buckets of Sunshine. Catfish Weekly. Oh, man. Catfish and Katie Collins. Richard Ward. EDJ Fishing. Uh, Maurice Kaysen, what's up, buddy? Uh, Chunky Cats Fishing, you know that guy, don't you? JP3, all right, cool. There was some another one in here, Michael Quaylar. I, I hope I'm saying that right, Jason Blackburn, and then there was one for a Nebraska one I hadn't seen, Fishing with Paw Paw Ed. Do you know someone with the from Nebraska, Michael? Uh, no. I mean, oh, there it was. I just missed it. I just wanted to send a shout out because it's a new name. Nebraska Wildcats. What's up? Welcome to the show. All right. Cool. Skip, how you doing, man? We're going to get started. So you're from West Des Moines, Iowa. Where in the heck is West Des Moines, Iowa uh, on the map? Okay. So if you were to put your finger exactly in the middle of the country and then go ever so <laughs> slightly north, or if you just want to find Kansas City and then go three and a half hours north. Okay. Where Des Moines is. So uh, what's the big river system around you or lakes? Um, around us, we have the Des Moines River, the Raccoon River, and um, we have Sailorville Reservoir, Red Rock Reservoir. Um, nothing really massive probably by anybody else's proportion. But, uh, yeah, been here. My whole life, so. Fishing, and what uh, what does Iowa mean to you? I know you said uh, you told me uh, that Iowa's your home, and you don't want to leave, and you don't want to travel. Yeah. What, I, why does it mean so much to you? I was thinking a lot about that this last week because uh, I have a, a team member at work, and he likes to wander and roam all over the place. And uh, yeah. he did that <laughs> a year ago. He went on a big walkabout. And I just kept telling him, I was like, I don't even want to leave the borders of the state. I was like, I can fish anywhere here. I just like to drive. Uh, I'm, I'm a big guy, so I'll just say that I don't fit really well in airplanes. <laughs> and um, sometimes my head hits the top, my shoulders hit both the sides, and my head's bent like that. And, and I'm afraid of heights. So I really, really don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I, you're going by car if you're going then, or train. Yeah. I prefer, yeah. So, <laughs> hey, uh, Whisker Whisper Fishing, uh, Half Crazy, Kevin Mullins. Uh, I think there was a few more pop in. 
You know, we were just talking, you know, it's it, it's kind of hard to keep up with chat, but I think it means a lot, don't you? As as a uh, majority viewer, does it mean a lot to you when the live streams kind of recognize you? John Patrick Jr., how you doing? It, it means a lot more than I think anybody can say. And I, I know that's a statement, a powerful statement, but I think that in the beginning, starting off watching YouTube and watching these guys catch these fish, I... I really started watching because I love fishing and I can't do it all the time. Uh, I really, my body just doesn't like being outside if it's over 85 degrees. <laughs> and then, let's face it, if you're freezing and you're not catching fish, you're not going to want to be out there either. Right. <laughs> so I was like, hey, you know, there's river monsters on TV and there's all these other things on TV. And uh, then I'm like, well, I'll go to YouTube and I'll look at YouTube and then we started talking about having children and I'm like, okay, I better really pay attention to this <laughs> because I want to continue fishing. Right. I always fish whenever I wanted to. And if Kristen says, Hey, you can go fishing, but you got to take one of them with you. Then I need to know how to do it safely. Right. So I started watching muddy river catfishing. And then I saw Luke Nichols on a catfish and carp. And I'm like, these guys make it look easy. Oh my gosh, I wish I wish they had their patience, their experience, and everything. But well, funny, funny, th yeah, funny thing. He just posted something up on Facebook where um, one of the boys got their finger crushed in a trunk at home while he was playing up in the room, and and you know that's unfortunate. But the com comment was, you know, the all, out of all the crazy stuff we do on the water and in the woods and overseas. We get all these ER visits are from things that happen at home. <laughs> and I thought that was profound, you know, that yeah, he can he can go all over the place. Too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rex. Control. Yeah. You got Rex Blocker, Cat Snatch Fever. I really like that name. Like, I'm almost kind of jealous that I didn't come up with it. That's awesome. I like that name. I think uh, I the name because I just used my name. And then yeah. a lot of people are like, well, if you don't want me to use your full name, I'm like, everybody knows my name. And yeah. my joke is, hey, nobody wants to be me. My name's <laughs> out all over the place. Uh, tell me about your family. Uh, I know you have a beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters. Uh, and then tell us how you met Kristen, too, your wife. Okay. Well, the, the first thing I'm going to say is we're not married. And, oh, okay. Uh, that. That got your my bet, your better people. half. How about that? <laughs> people and it still doesn't sit so well with some other people. Mm -hmm. But yes, uh, I'm a warehouse supervisor, and Kristen had been laid off from a previous job, and then got a job where we work now. And I'll just say we work at Interstate Batteries, and uh, the new sales hires always get a warehouse tour. So for whatever reason, I, I always pay attention to that, and I try to make sure that nobody's moving any big equipment, you know, forklifts, power jacks, anything like right. that, and try to get everybody's attention to make sure that they don't run over people who are just in awe of all this racking and all this product and how the whole machine and the whole team work. And then I just noticed this one straggler, who was <laughs> falling behind the group and I'm just like, oh, she's gonna get in somebody's way or she's gonna somebody's gonna have a near miss or something. Right. Like, you know, it's a safety issue and then I thought she was cute. I thought her hair looked great and noticed her eyes and after that, you know It was over. She's an extremely <laughs> uh, patient, understanding, forgiving and uh amazing person who was actually wanting to put up with me every day. I'm like, right. I have a theory that none of us guys probably deserve any of our no. ladies. Uh, I don't. I don't, I don't for sure. I know I don't. So, Y'all, Michael Marillo is racking up the points. Who's got the points tally for him? <laughs> well, you know, that'll, that'll, uh, That'll give me a free pass to him the next time a few rods come in. And I, I have my eye on several. I, I hear that there's a new uh, a new one coming out here soon from somebody on your shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to get three, six, or nine. I'm going to buy them in three, 
uh, for sure. Yeah. That's, that's the only question right now is the quantity. Hey, Mo, hey, Mo Homesteading. Hey, uh, uh, Tone, the other Marillo. She said, uh, I never knew this. I thought Kristen won Mike as a booby prize. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but all right. I never told hey. you that before. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, sorry, Daniel, that's a terrible story. <laughs> Somebody got killed by a forklift at, uh, oh. yeah, yeah, that's not good. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. I mean, so, so you fell in love and, and the next, the next thing you know, you're, you're living happily ever after. Well, I got to tell you, um, I had a really good conversation when I, on a fishing boat with the then vice president and my manager, uh, both of whom are still good friends with me to this day. And uh, both of them sat and we're catching largemouth bass on little super flukes. And uh, one of them, I, I can't remember which one of them brought the topic up, but both of them were like, you know, you're going to screw this up. So we're just going <laughs> to This is the real deal. Don't screw this up. <laughs> so I thank them for that, and I send them pictures with the kids all the time. Awesome. Our two daughters, <laughs> and Leia. And uh, yes, that's Princess Leia, just like Star Wars. I didn't even have to do that myself. Kristen was home watching the movie. Mm-hmm. Like, no, let's name this, our, this daughter Leia. <laughs> uh, so tell us about your beautiful daughters, man. Tell us about them. Well, I got to tell you. I've always considered myself to be a smart individual. Uh, well, maybe I should say intelligent. Smart. There you go. <laughs> I always consider myself to be intelligent and uh, very mathematical and uh, somewhat logical at times. Right. How I want to do things. Right. But Kristen is also really smart and highly organized. So these two little kids, ages four and two, They've already got me beaten. They're already ahead of me. They, they <laughs> plan. They, they organize. They got details down. Everything. Lauren, I think, could, could already qualify to be on a college level debate team. Uh, I mean, they're amazing. I can see that just after talking to her for a few yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and then at some point, they're totally me, and it's awesome. And then at some point, they're totally me, and it's just infuriating. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, I can't. I can't beat myself. I can't outthink myself. Right. <laughs> and then add into the fact that they're Kristen too. So they, they have me just totally defeated. So, hey, Tone, dad texted me wanting to know if we're on yet. You want to text me? <laughs> and what he needs to do is he needs to hit that bell button and do the all. And then that way, every time Palmetto Cats is on. That's right. Well, we'll pause for station identification. This is Palmetto Cats Live. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, that subscribe button, and that shaky bell if you want to be notified. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a fool. Look at look at um Chris. Look what he's got on, buddy. I oh, wore yeah. mine yesterday on the boat, and um, and I can't find the other one. So uh, excuses, excuses. That's but I, I'm still supporting. Our fishing family. I had Norm shirt on the other day. Um, yeah, Chris said, "Nice shirt, Michael." There yeah. it is. <laughs> we got we got one over outdoors in here. Sean Abney. Um, I saw Outdoors Addiction said hello, uh, and DMV. What to do? What to be? What it is? How you doing, buddy? All right, man. You have a special relationship. And this relationship goes back a long way. And I'm sorry I'm going to put you on the spot with it. But tell me about your relationship with Christmas trees. Okay. <laughs> Did I scare you for a second? Yeah, I was like, uh, <laughs> um, it was actually my first job was to sell Christmas trees. Um, I'll be honest, uh, I, I'm just really not quick to things. And uh, I don't believe that at all. And I don't know why, but <laughs> even I'm, I'm hesitant. I observe a lot. And in the past, I was known as being quiet, not, not so much anymore. I just hyper babble all the time. But, uh, you, you know, you turn a certain age, then it's legal that you can work. 
And I'm just like, yeah, I don't think that I can do, you know, what my brother does. You know, my brother and most of his friends, they're working at McDonald's, fast paced. People are mean to him. I'm just like, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Well, another one of our friends stole Christmas trees. And I'm like, well, hey, I only have to work a couple weeks. And the pay is really good. But then I realized how awesome it was. The You just have to walk people around and hold the tree up until they find what they want. And I'm just like, well, this is great. Because everybody's <laughs> happy. Yeah. Everybody finds what they want. They and it's Christmas it. time. Who can't be happy looking at Christmas yeah. trees? Yeah. Until and you hit them with the price. <laughs> sometimes kids get upset. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. We'll find it. I'll, I'll help you find it. And so it was uh-huh. a, like a people pleasing kind of thing. And we had the right. Charlie Brown trees. Yeah. Where if you put one bulb on it, it would bend over. <laughs> and, uh, and, and everything. So it was that kind of tree lot. Okay. Oh, I guess. Awesome. And then. I figured out why it was that I, I kind of enjoyed it even more. Whenever all the trees were, it was about time for the guys to leave. I'm like, yeah. oh, we're giving all these to the DNR, and they're going to throw them in the lake. So I'm like, that's oh, what yeah. They do? Yeah. Like, what do they do that for? And they're like, well, that's where the fish will get into there. Yeah. So then I noticed i got to find out where they dump them into the lakes and into the reservoirs and go fish there. And then I started catching more fish. Well, listen, the DNR on Santee Cooper marks of them with bu- uh, buoys. Not Christmas trees as much, but they throw stuff in the lake and they mark it with buoys. So, yeah, I, I mean, that's the best thing. Those are the best fish attractors. Steven still says Charlie Brown trees are the best. Oh, they were easy to sell, too, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dieter Melhorn, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming in. Chunky Cats, I think you already said hello. Dieter says, sorry I'm late. The white is recovering my boat seats. The white is recovering. Maybe it was a mistype. Anyway. So you went from Christmas trees and then, uh, you know, so you give advice. Uh, Maybe a lot of people don't know this. Maybe they do. But you give advice and thoughts to a few of us in the community, Um, especially me. I know you give me uh, advice and we talk and we bounce things off each other you've been a real blessing to me um from what you've told me it seems like that comes from you having a few mentors yourself would you agree with that uh yes totally uh, i would agree with that um just been really fortunate uh have, i've done a few awkward jobs i guess i would say and they they pretty much found me and uh, but i believe they all found me for a reason and Really amazing managers taught me what to do, what not to do, how to do things, how not to do things. So, uh, and I don't, I don't think they have any idea the amount of impact that they had on me. Well, maybe right. one, does. maybe one does, but maybe the other couple did. Right. But, uh, yeah. Very, very much a blessing for me. That's awesome. And you're passing it for, or what are they saying? You're paying it forward. Oh, yeah. My brother says all the time. Uh, I talk with a lot of people at, at work right now, uh, different departments, and and try to just continue to do that. Try to yeah. help everybody understand more so how everything works and why. Mm. It's just sort of um, the level of all boats. Right, right. So you mentioned that you grew up uh, fishing with family members. And had some fun trips. Now, I know you you said before the show, you could go on for days about these trips and everything. But give us give us one of those that just stands out that, you know, really kind of, you know, you remember it and you smile about it all the time. Well, I guess I'll talk just about our, we have an annual Marillo family fishing trip. Mm, and I won't cool. talk about one specifically, but I'll just talk about them all. Together. Okay, yeah, that's great. Um, every year grandpa would go fishing and in the past they said it would be as much as three weeks in a row. Well, you know, things progress and people get busy and lives get busy. It's cut down to one week over time, uh, usually in, in the beginning or the middle of June. And, uh, it's really been a blast. We always would go to, uh, lakes in Northern Iowa. The one we went to the most was called Lost Island Lake. And, uh, 
we would fish for carp and bullhead and there's channel cat in there and walleye and right. perch. Uh, my aunt telling me about this gigantic perch this one time. I don't know, the thing, I, I bet it wasn't three pounds, but I was little back then. It right. Big. Everything's bigger. <laughs> Everything's bigger back then. Now, here, here's the story that I'll tell you. Okay. Fish look a lot bigger in the water. <laughs> as some people may or may not know. And I have the amazing honor of being the kid who would fall in the lake all the time. <laughs> I always had the task of being the standby diver to dive in and get me. I remember falling in the lake at least two or three times. Yeah. Don't haul me out of there. And uh, I'm a big guy and I know everybody's like, oh, everybody can float. Well, I can't. So there's, I, I just can't float, I think. And so don't save my life. We, we can work on that. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody else said. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can't. They're like, arch your back. You know, keep all that mm-hmm. air in your lungs. No. <laughs> Oh, when you stiffen up, that makes it worse. So who who would you say in the YouTube community um, that you chat with kind of the most? Like who who do you chat with like, you know, daily, I guess? Oh, I definitely uh, chat with Elton every day. Junk cat fishing. Right oh, that, that guy right there? There you go. How was that segue there? What's going on? What's going on, Mr. Marillo? Well, I'm just sitting here. I got my hands on my legs to keep them from shaking. I'm actually a little nervous. I was, I was tell him, fine. tell him he's doing great, Elston. You're doing phenomenal. Wow. I was totally fine until I noticed a Facebook post where Tony copied people, uh, tagged him in on it, and I'm like, "Whoa! I didn't want to tell anybody." <laughs> You're doing amazing. I love it. I love yeah. it. And and Tone said, Elston. <laughs> <laughs> and we got John Marillo. Man, we got the whole family in here to make you nervous, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh man. So so you prefer carp. What's up with that? We got all these cat fishermen. Chunky slays the catfish. I do what I can. And then you got other people catch a cat. So what's up with the cart, man? So really, it's a lot like the fish in the water. I, I described it, I think, to both of you this way. I'm the carp that's swimming around next to all you catfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also an opportunity eater, and I eat what I can, and I, I try to you know have my own little place here and there and, and everything. But for the most part, I just hope that all the catfish don't notice that I'm a carp and then <laughs> run me out of there. So I try Man, to the imagery out. the imagery you're, you're creating is phenomenal right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let, let me just say that carp fishing is, I mean, if you catch a carp, the fight, it's like five to ten times better than catching the catfish because the okay. carp will fight all the way through. But That's I'll, what I hear. I'll, I'll never, I'll never forget what Luke Nichols said, maybe about a year and a half, two years ago. It's just that demand on his views are not nowhere near as high as uh, as catfish videos, and I'll never forget that. Um, but yeah, I, me myself, I love carp fishing. I just don't do it uh, just because the viewers, most people want to see those big catfish being slayed. Well, like, do you think like, it's like, easier? Do you think it's easier to catch catfish than carp? It seems easier to catch catfish than it is to catch carp. Um, it, uh, yes, especially the way I do it because I throw eel out there and I can have a few, um, you know, hits and, and tugs and I know that eel's still on there. Uh, car, you know, you, you have to pack it up. I, I would say not more than 20 to 30 minutes. Check your, check mm. your horn, your bait, whatever you're using out there. Um, uh, but yeah, you're, you're definitely off the chair more often. Um, Marillo, you agree with that? I'll, I'll agree with every single word that he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what I'll say too is that uh, I think that the real key is locating them because to me, it seems like those fish are always on the move. And, and I think I know where they are at times. And then there's months where I have not a clue where they went. Right. And I'm still kind of in the middle of that right now. And it seems like every move I make is wrong, but the, uh, 
the action, uh, I'll take either. I think if you catch either fish over 10 pounds. I see, I see Tone. I'm sorry for cutting you off, Merle, but I see Tone here. This is this is the the rod that, that Tone sent me. Oh, uh, that's your end. Yeah, of course, Michael really know that, but I love this rod. I'm, I'm waiting to catch a big one on it. We haven't got a big one on there yet, but it's just Even the songs, the they sound really good. So I, I'd be really excited to see you catch something over 30 pounds on that rod. I bet it's going to bend in half. Yeah, I want to try. I really want to try carp fishing. I just, you know, with anything new, it requires uh, you know, different gear, different techniques. But I think oh, Keith, um, Keith's vi newest video where he makes that carp bait and he shows you how to kind of make a uh, the carp rigs too, and you don't have to buy all that stuff. And and no, nothing against luke or nothing but he's got all this fancy stuff and i look at it and i'm like geez that's a whole new set of stuff but <laughs> keith keith like basically showed me how to do it like the cheap way so i think i might try it uh, i don't know if i'll make a video about it until i actually get a hang of it but <laughs> i want to feel that tug man so so um um, Kevin, I know this is your show, but let me just kind of say something to, to my good friend Marillo because I've never, I, we, we text quite a bit and we talk on the phone every now and then, but I want to say that, I want to say thank you to you, uh, Marillo, because you've been a supporter of mine for a really, really long, long, long time. And I, and, and I, and I remember this comes to mind, uh, when I was watching Muskrat and, um, I think it was Tuesday night when he, he kind of thanked someone for saying, for putting a really nice comment on there that he'll never forget. And I remember you gave me that same feeling. Um, it has to be over two years ago when I was carp fishing and you put a beautiful comment that just touched my heart. And I, it literally brought a tear to my just of happiness and joy that I was touching someone that someone was really enjoying it. I mean, everyone everyone can write or, or, or some can't write as well, but you have a gift on putting it really does down on paper and touching people to motivate me. Um, and I just want to say thank you. I mean, I'm glad that you became my friend because I'll never forget those comments you were giving me to kind of, you know, uplift me when I was kind of feeling down when YouTube did the changes um, to be moderated. You know, I, I kind of almost gave up at that point. But, you know, I'm just glad that we became really good friends. And I just want to say thank you for that. I'll never forget those comments, those strong com uh, comments that you gave me. I appreciate that. I can't believe you'd ever think about giving up. Your shows are amazing. <laughs> My family texts me every day. They'll say, going live tonight. I need to know now. I'm like, I can't give you all the information. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is the thing. Michael Murillo knows I'm going to go live about an hour, an hour and a half before. Because, it, like I said, all my schedule, it's like at the spur of the moment. Weather, wife is a good mood. Things were, you know, I got everything done that I need to get done for the day. I, I call Michael Murillo. Michael Murillo, I need a title. I don't know. Those who are watching, Michael Murillo gives me all my titles in the last <laughs> two or three months. And, and and we think he's done a lot of research. And I think those keywords are really helping bring in those bigger crowds. I know people say, no, Elson, it's you, it's your rods, whatever. It's a combination. It's a combination. That's why I said Michael Murillo is part of the Chunky Cat crew. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to have to start a payroll here soon. You got, <laughs> you got thumbnail guys. You got uh name <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> i think it all helps make the show uh better like all of our shows you know and that's you know i i, I thought about bringing a bunch of people in here uh tonight michael but i know they're gonna say it in chat and roger just said it you know you were the one that kind of gave him that comment that kind of got him motivated um you know you've helped me through several things um logistically and you know this this whole uh golden whiskers thing that then I'll talk about later, you know, you kind of sparked that idea. Well, you did spark that idea. You didn't kind of, you did. It was Michael Murillo's idea. And we just kind of worked together to make it happen. Um, and then, you know, Chunky, you know, probably the, you know, the best, it is the live, best live fishing show, you know, you can watch, <laughs> you know, because how many people have like eight or 900 and something people in their stream. So anyway, I just wanted to bring uh, Mr. Perez on here. I know that he would never miss an opportunity to say thank you to you. So appreciate and we, it. Thanks, we won't make it into a big sappy show or nothing like that. We'll, <laughs> we'll keep moving. <laughs> All right, guys. But uh, Elston, you're welcome to stay in if you want. If not, we totally understand. 
I'll be here for another five minutes. All right, cool. Yeah. So uh, you're very allergic to bees. You ever had any ba bad experiences uh, finding out? Or how'd you find that out? Yeah, I, I, uh, my brother and I were picking on some bees that we found in the ground <laughs> one day. We were throwing gravel and rocks at these bees, and they started getting all mad. And, of course, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to act all big and bad and brave in front of my big brother. So I got closer, and I was throwing rocks at the ground by where all these bees were buzzing around. Mm -hmm. And then they, they, I felt like they were getting closer to me, so I take off running. Well, one bit me or stung me. Sorry. Not so, stung me. <laughs> And uh, to this day, Tone still can't understand how my head could get that big. Wow. So, uh, yeah, it just everything, you know, that massive a doctor. I think I was in I was in second grade, so I didn't really even know what was going on. And uh, the doctor's like, you're lucky you didn't get stung in the neck. You'd probably just die. It's yeah, so I remember you telling me that. Your, 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 <laughs> your air down and you wouldn't be able to breathe anymore. And, he was a mean old doctor, though, but he's right. And, uh, yeah, my head looked like a planet. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, my, sister, my sister looked at me and literally started crying. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? And then there was a tray that was, it had like a mirror top, mirror finish on it. And I went to look at it, and she literally grabbed me by my arms. And she's like, no, don't look, don't look. And honestly, my eyes pretty much swelled shut. I couldn't see anything if I did see the thing. So, yeah, I, I am six foot one inch. I have weighed as much as 375 pounds. Wow. But I'm telling you, if a bee walks or a hornet is not, <laughs> I can run a sub 440. Uh, 440. <laughs> You know, and that's something unique to, to, to big guys like it. Like, you see Elston doing it. Like, Elston, you know, he's a bigger guy. You know, I'm not saying you're fat, Elston, but we're all bigger guys. Let's just be honest and move past that. We're, so, we're, we're there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is um, uh, the comedian? We're fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> Gabriel Iglesias. That's who it is. He says it. But, but listen, when, when that rod goes down, Chunky's fast, man. Like, he, he skates across there. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty quick at my first few steps. <laughs> well luckily luckily you only have a few to go brother <laughs> even when your knee was hurting i was like wow he's quick <laughs> i want to pause real quick and do my youtube channel of the week um i just discovered this channel i think it was uh, i think they were on catfish weekly um or, or, or Patriot, one of those two shows, I can't remember, but Dinks Outdoors, uh, Finn Seeker TV, his his son. Uh, I'm, I've really enjoyed watching his channel. I've watched two or three videos, and, uh, you know, he, he he's a smart young man, and he believes in the Word of God, and, you know, I love that. So, uh, you know, go go check him out. Uh, if you like it, hit, hit the subscribe button, but that's my YouTube channel of the week. Chad, if you wouldn't mind, buddy, uh, putting his link up there, that's Dinks Outdoors. Go check him out. Uh, so you say that you have an extens uh, extensive fishing gear collection, especially reels. Enlighten us on not only what you, what you like collecting, but what does that look like in your house? Okay. So, uh, uh oh, he, he's getting serious. Part, Everybody, hang on here. He's getting serious. Uh, I'm only going to partly answer this question because if Kristen can still hear me up there, she's going to yell down the stairs that I'm lying. <laughs> uh, so, what I'll say is that uh, my brother showed me eBay like, <laughs> I don't know, around 2000 or something like that, 2002 maybe. And prior to that, I didn't really have any real fishing equipment buying issues. Cause I would just go to Kmart or Walmart. And oh, Kmart, Kmart, man, that's a memory. You know, so uh, oh, I miss Kmart, the blue light special. So, <laughs> too soon. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I I got on eBay and then I started just buying reel after reel. I'm like, these people don't realize what they have. I was like, if they don't, <laughs> if there's a $100 reel, I'll take it for 20 bucks free shipping. And uh, then I realized that I kept buying all the same things. And oh. 
anybody who's watched Luke Nichols is like, hey, you know, these are all the same rods. They're just branded different. They're all medium, medium heavy action, seven, eight, nine foot, same kind of eyes. And I'm just like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm I'm buying all the same stuff, but you know, this one's blue, that one's red, and uh, and then they weren't well made, so they kept breaking. You know, I'm like, okay, so I'll just buy more. And then I realized, I'm like, I make decent money. I should buy some nice stuff. And, <laughs> and I just kept buying, and kept buying, kept buying. Uh, a couple of years ago, I started buying bait runner reels. I'm, I do spinning reels. Along the way, I tried a few bait casters here and there, and I couldn't figure it out. I, maybe I wasn't using a heavy enough lead, but at that point, I'm like, forget it. I know how to do this. I'll just go with it. It'll be easier. And then I was watching all Luke Nichols stuff, trying to learn how to fish with kids there. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, these bait runners are awesome. And I can get these bite alarms and I can do stuff like that. <laughs> it's not That's what I'm talking stuff. about, man. Like you, yeah. you start watching this stuff and you're like, Ooh, I need that. Like yeah. I, I really need that. So the last time I, was, I call it the vault and it's the basement. The last time I was in the vault and tried to count, I lost count when I got to 52 or 56 reels. Oh, my that goodness. That doesn't include the 14 rods and reels that are in the back of my truck at all points in time. Wow. So, and then, let's see, let me look. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> In the living room? There's, Are you going to be like James Dockery and create a tackle shop in your living room? <laughs> if, I, if I knew James Dockery's address, I'd send it all to him so he could give it to the kids. <laughs> but, uh, so there's 13 of them right here. So wow. every now and then you hear from someone and they're just like, oh man, you know, my reel's messed up or all this. And uh, I'm not going to put the blame on my brother, but I'm going to put the blame on my brother. My brother has six children. So I'm like, dude, you got to fit. And he's like, man, I got kids, man. I can't. I, can't. Yeah, I got kids, I, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, you got to fish. I'm like, you got to fish. And I was like, it's the last thing. It's what we do. We're my little we fish. And so I'm just like, look, don't worry about buying it. I'll buy the stuff. You can have it. You know, so then I started supplying him. Well, then that kind of just enabled my, enabled me to, be a bigger issue than it really well, is. Well, yeah, now that you're getting rid of stuff, mm -hmm. you can get more stuff to replace it with. <laughs> so really, uh, the other night you were on, you were on, Kevin, and you were like, oh, you just buy for what, how often you fish. That's what your equipment should be like. And I'm like, no, I buy all year. I buy fishing equipment all year long. I hit all the deals. Hey, listen, listen, I didn't say that I did that. I said that's yeah, good advice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew you'd admit to it. Hey, so, and so my dad was in here earlier, and I don't know. He's that William Lakin guy, and so I don't know if he um if he's still in. But dad, uh, you know, this is Michael Marilla. He's the one that uh uh helped me out with a few reels, and uh you know my dad is now benefiting from those. Good. So, uh, nice. yeah, he, he was really, really happy when I brought, when I switched to bait casters and I said, these are just too nice not to do anything with. So my oh. dad needed to replace two old reels. So I brought those to him and I hadn't heard, uh, how they're doing yet, but, uh, I think he, I think he said, um, he said, now you got me wanting to buy new rods. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't need rods. What size and what action do you need? <laughs> uh, he's good to go. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. So, what what kind of got you into, like, when did you decide that you were going to start reaching out to people with YouTube, ch fishing YouTube channels to help them out? Like, it just wasn't like you logged on and said, oh, I'm going to help Chunky out. No. Uh, I And I didn't even think about it. So, but this is where we do shift all the blame to Elston there. Okay. <laughs> because he he was talking about, oh, I have a boat and I took the battery out of it and it powers the show and it only lasts so long. And I'm like, well, you got the wrong battery. And it, it sounds funny because anyone who knows me from work, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Let Kevin know whatever else you need. The vault is open. No. <laughs> um, Actually, I stumbled upon two more of those reels sitting here doing nothing. 
And I'm like, oh, <laughs> real dessert. <laughs> getting back to it, so Elson had mentioned he took the, the battery out of his boat. Well, that's more of a starting lighting and ignition kind of battery. I'm like, oh, man, you need a deep cycle battery, and we can power this show twice as long as you you go now. And he's added a few <laughs> lights. <laughs> so, <laughs> when it first started off, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. When it first started off, I sent him his battery, and I'm like, okay, here you go. And pandemic, you know, he let it sit there. He wiped it off, you know, <laughs> just in case and everything. And I'm like, you got to take that thing out of there. This battery's amazing. Well, it, it was a blem, a factory blem. The box was torn up, so the, the QA guys gave it to me. And I'm like, I'll send you this battery. And uh, we, we did the math on it. And in the beginning, you only had like three black lights or something like that. <laughs> And I'm like, that's that. I like it. I like, not to interrupt you, but I like how he laughs at yeah. only three black lights and he just chuckles. <laughs> so he, he, set, he set me the, the specs on him. And I'm like, that battery will power your show for up to 22 hours. And he's like, no way. I was like, fish all day, buddy. I dare you. <laughs> And then I think maybe that's where he got the inspiration. He's like, well, I'm not going to fish for 22 hours, so let's light up the sky. <laughs> let's get more black lights. Let's get into where they spin. Let's do everything. So he keeps sending me links. And he's like, hey, I got three of these coming. How long can the show last? You know, <laughs> and they're not as powerful. Uh, how long will the show last? And so it's it's really been great because it's not only is it is it uh, is it something I, I cannot understate how much you content provider, how much you uh, video performer, however you want to call yourself. I don't, I don't know the best way to say it. They they all sound awkward to me. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you I just say YouTuber. <laughs> you, you YouTubers realize how much you provide to the viewers and maybe you feel it every now and then uh i you know i, I can't sit here and say that elson hasn't felt it because i've seen the man cry so happy and thankful for what's happened you know at times and i've gotten texts from you kevin and phone calls and so maybe you guys get it but back then i was even scared to even put a chat in there i i probably watched the live streams for maybe eight nine months before i even put a message in the chat line and then when i did i was like hey that's my name you know? <laughs> i mean i was like hey that's my name you know it's like hey look there's my name <laughs> i'm like it, it's a little overwhelming and it was overwhelming at that time but then now it's like wow, these guys are my friends. You know, it's like, sure. this is the coolest thing, and you think that I help you, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I always think that lots of people uh, give the appearance like they have lots of really great friends, and that it's all easy to them. Well, some people, it's not so easy. Uh, you need to find people that are like-minded, you know, that, that share your same set of values, and and maybe you know have somewhat similar goals and uh, and then you can really make a strong bond yeah but uh also what? too it was easy for me as a viewer to really get all into it because i'm right. there rocking my daughters to sleep while you guys show <laughs> so while 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 El dan's on El that's right that's right in the beginning lauren called him Uncle Eldan, and he <laughs> thought he was her Uncle Dan, my brother. <laughs> and he, then he started to, to be able to speak. And yeah. she was like, why don't you catch big fish like Uncle Eldan? <laughs> I'm like, well, he took us in a different spot. Called you out. Really <laughs> nice. And that is technique. I was like, I don't have any eel. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, it's, uh, and then I realized she's just like, she's looking at him. She's just like, that's not Uncle Dan. I was like, 
yeah, that's Uncle that's Uncle Elston, and and uh, we always watched on TV. Uh, Jimmy Houston outdoors oh, was yeah. probably one of the biggest influences for me to fish ever. And so I'm I trying to get him on the show. I'm trying to Grant, get him on the show. As Grandpa Jimmy, and yeah. um, then you have Uncle Jeremy Wade doing River Monsters. Uncle Jeremy, and, Wade. <laughs> and Chris was like, "Stop calling him that. That is not her uncle." I was like, "That's Uncle Jeremy." She's like, "He catches big fish." You know, she's this little little tiny little right. girl. And now she knows Uncle El Dan, Uncle Kevin, and Uncle Mark, who sent her the catfish and crappie hat. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think that she's, I think she also says specifically Luke from Cat uh, Catfish and Carp. Because mm-hmm. she's always like, let's just go home and watch his videos. At least yeah. I still have I still have to watch the ones from Saturday. Hey, so I think I think I just want to bring back up a a a, a point you said a minute ago. Like, uh, you know, it just it took you a while, but once you started talking, you know, it got more comfortable. And I really think I've been kind of reflecting and and not really meditating, but really it is meditating, thinking about the past and reflecting on your past to make your future better or, or at least understand why things are the way they are. And so I was thinking, you know, and it's, it's an unpopular thing to say, but I'm going to say it. COVID was kind of like a blessing to some people. And I know that's, that's, that's terrible to say because people died. Um, but in another way, um, you know, it's, it's kind of changed things and it's brought people together more. Um, and I say that because I don't think that I would have met any of you if it wasn't for that pandemic. Um, you know, I don't think I would have been this involved in it because when I started YouTube, uh, in the beginning of 2019, like my boat was breaking down, my equipment was breaking, nothing would work right. And I was about to, to give it up. And then I started these live shows and I met Michael Murillo and Elston Perez and uh, Lyle Stokes and Muskrat and Norm, all these people. And um, and I started getting confident and I started liking it and I started loving it. And now I can't imagine where I'd be without it. So that's why I, I kind of reflect. And, and like I said, it's an unpopular thing to say because in I, you know, I pray for those who have lost family members from it. And, you know, it's a terrible, terrible disease. Um, but at, in another sense, it's kind of uh, a thing that's it's changed the face of education, too. And uh, it's changed how we learn. It's changed how we've done a lot of things. Um, so when we can't connect physically, you know, we're cl- connecting online. And and I think it's it's really done some great things. I know for my life. Yeah, I agree. I was just texting with my cousin Jeff, and he's like, "Man, he's like, I, the COVID does this." He's like, "And now these YouTube guys are celebrities." That I'm like, "He's like, I'd rather be at home watching them." He's like, "I'm not gonna go out to the bar or whatever, you know." He's like, "I have more mm-hmm. fun watching Elston and Combat Carl and mm-hmm. uh, all the all the talk shows." So, yeah. And that's what we got to do. You know, I like what Tone said, turning that negative into a positive. We've taken something that could have really just tore us all down. And, and maybe it has torn some of us down. But we've taken it and kind of spun it into something amazing. I think what we have here is amazing. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll kind of touch on that real quick. Go ahead, buddy. Um, and, and on, on my behalf, when you say, you know, it's you know, there's kind of a good side to some people that – um, in, in my behalf, ever since COVID started, it's changed my life. We know we stopped eating in the fast food restaurants. Um, I was seeing that being obese, um, uh, high blood pressure and diabetic, it, those were the ones really being affected. Um, I lost 60 pounds during this pandemic. I mean, I Amen, just, brother. you know, I stopped drinking. I stopped going to fast food restaurants, being stressed and scared. It's a combination of, of a lot of things, but I'm, I'm glad I, I, I've dropped 60 pounds, so. I'm happy for you, man. Nothing that. feels better than losing some weight. I'll tell Absolutely. you that. You feel you feel faster, so you can get to your rods faster. <laughs> <laughs> you can jump up out of that chair real quick. <laughs> I was meaning to ask you too, Elson. The knee that you worked on, the the surgery, 
Is that the same one that you donkey kicked that chair with? I have to go back and look. I'm not sure to be honest. <laughs> you had your left knee worked on, correct? My left knee, yeah. Okay. I think you might have kicked it with your right. Hey, the so. right. I think so, too. That's more of my powerhouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your spin kick leg? <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, people want, they always request to touch my finger or the donkey kick. Those things just kind of came out. But, you know, and now it, it has to be, be brought to my attention to do the touch my finger it's just, you got to get John to make you a thumbnail now of you doing a roundhouse kick <laughs> and a chair flying across the screen. <laughs> All right, I want to talk about something. Um, the Golden Whiskers. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be awesome. I'm getting super excited about it. Um, Mike Marillo came up with this idea. He has a spreadsheet that he kind of shared and it has a lot of ideas in it and we kind of feed off each other and 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 he said this thing about an award show uh or not even an award show was it was it just like a a list of awards or during the show anyway um so i i didn't even pay attention to it uh, like when you sent it to me i didn't even really i saw it and i was like yeah that'd be kind of cool you know whatever <laughs> and then uh i guess i yeah. uh and i hate to admit this but i was bored at work and so, um, you know, COVID has also lightened my load at work in one way, but I have to sit at the computer and answer emails all day. Anyway, um, but I started looking at the sheet and I was like, how could we make that happen? And so then I sent that email out to a lot of guys and then all the ideas just started pouring in. And then we came up with the, the name was going to be the Palomino Awards because <laughs> so many people say the channel name wrong. I was like, well, what a good way to make fun of myself. And also make it not like a really serious thing just for fun. But then uh, Tom, LG Bass, says, uh, what about naming it the Golden Whiskers? And I thought he was talking about one of the awards. So, I, you know, I think I responded to him. I said, what are the requirements for it? And uh, Mike liked it so much that he texted me or email later. said, did you give that any thought? I think that might be a good idea. And it immediately was like, bing, oh, that's the name. So the Golden Whiskers was uh, LG Bass. So thank you, LG. That's that's awesome. Um, so we have two nomination forms. One of them is for the fans. The fans can go on there, and, and, and creators, we can go on there and nominate, um, you know, people. It don't have to be YouTubers. It can be people that go live on Facebook, like, um, fishing with Big Nasky, JR War Scow, and a bunch of other people go live on Facebook a lot. It could be them, it could be anybody. Even if you have a picture of a big blue cat that you think should be the blue cat of the year, you can submit it. But it's unique in the fact that you have to put a link to those videos or you have to put a link to those pictures. And then, uh, thanks to Dieter Melhorn, he uh, yes, you have to you have to wear a tux when presenting the. <laughs> uh, Dieter said, you know, this is, this is great. Um, you know, we kind of, I kind of rushed it a little bit, but I thought I wanted to get it in for that Wednesday show, uh, where I gave away the bait board. And so then he emailed me and said, well, what about a form that we can nominate creators can nominate creators? And I thought that was a great idea. So we can go in and look at, um, you know, uh, cinematography and sound and lighting and everything edits, and we can vote on each other who does that stuff the best um so there will be i think like almost 30 awards given out um and you know and i'm gonna do it up like i'm gonna do the best that i can i'm gonna wear a suit and i'm gonna <laughs> send links to people like I, I might send uh chunky a link to give away chris flores already said he'd give out an award um lyle stokes said he'd give out an award if anybody knows steve douglas get steve douglas I, that would be awesome right for Steve Duggs to give out an award, but I think it's going to be awesome. And you can find that link on my Facebook page, uh, Palmetto Cats Facebook page, or you can find it on Catfish Weekly. And a bunch of other people have shared it. I'm getting tons of nominations. I haven't even looked because I can't keep up with them. Uh, but it's going to be awesome. Uh, and I know Chunky's, uh, he is nominated for a few. I won't say nice. which ones. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so, so yeah, um, you know, and the other thing is, is that, uh, 
I do appreciate those of you who nominated me for things. Um, just a couple. There was like two people. I'm not going to accept any nominations just to keep it above par and make sure there's no drama. Um, so it's, it's, so please save your nomination for someone else. Give it to someone else who you think is deserving. The top three nominations from each category will move on to the finals. And that'll start the, – the finals vote will start in November. Um, you only have until October 31st to send in your preliminary nominations. So make sure they're on my – one ton, they're on my Facebook page. I know I'm lagging a little bit, so you probably already heard that. Um, but, yeah, go, go check that out. Um, and then after we get the top three nominations for each one, we're going to do a finals. And then December 19th at 6, what did I say, 7.30 p.m. That's a Saturday. And um, and we're going to do these awards. I'm going to buy medals for right now. That's what I have a budget for. Um, I'm going to buy medals and a plaque because there's a big award for like the um, the lifetime achievement type award. And I'm going to do a plaque for that one. Because I think I think that's going to be like really special. That that's like the overall best award. Oh man, that was a lot of talking. What do you guys think? <laughs> I know. Also, also, I'm sorry, Marillo. Uh, Michael Marillo's also got access editing rights to those, so he can see what everybody's putting in. So we have accountability that there's more than one person. Because I know this is all just for fun, but you know there's. There's people out there that will try to tear you down. <laughs> right, Elston? <Yeah>. Right, Marilla? <laughs> so uh, we're, we're going to have accountability, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to feel good for those people who get nominated because it's a chance for the fans to say, hey, I love what you're doing. And it's a chance for other creators to say, hey, I, I really like what you're doing, and I'm learning from you. So, uh yeah, and and the, and then we're gonna do a couple fundraisers. Um, any any money donated to Super Chat from here uh, until October thirty first is gonna be for nothing but the awards. Um, it's gonna be about uh, with the new the new nominations. The awards are gonna be about two hundred bucks, and then I don't know what shipping is gonna be. So um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna fund it. I've already got sixty three dollars from people saying they're gonna help, so that's awesome. And uh, so any any money donated from here on out to my channel is going to go directly to there after YouTube takes their chunk of change. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Marilla, what were you going to say? <laughs> there was a comment in the chat from Sean T. Outdoors. He does, not, he does not have Facebook. He didn't know how he would have access to okay. uh, a, a ballot. Thank you, Dieter. <clears throat> boom nice boom <laughs> boom break my boom i'm not in there to get we the booms, the booms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boom boom all right thanks guys it's all going towards the awards um you know and i i, I told somebody i took um somebody fishing yesterday a subscriber drove three hours to come fish with me and i put him on two fish unfortunately <laughs> but but uh brian uh brian menard came fishing with me and he said hey man how much to to owe you for gas i, I was gonna go fishing anyway i don't ever ask people for money so it's hard for me to ask for money but you know 200 bucks plus shipping is gonna be a lot so any support i can get i'd really appreciate it um sean if you will email me at paddle palmetto cats at gmail.com i'll send you the link to that form so you can fill it out chunky what do you think about it i love it i love it I, I, I logged in because you sent me the link, and then I, 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 on the first one, it, it's like it was work to me because you have to go look for the link. To <laughs> yeah. Like, um, I'll do that later. <laughs> yeah. Well, and see, that was the problem. So some of some people, uh, nobody got upset about it, thankfully, but um, I had about 10 or 12 nominations. Michael might have got upset, but I had about 10 <laughs> or 12 nominations. But uh, in the nominations, I said you had to send me links, and nobody was sent. Like one person sent me links, and I was like, "This isn't going to work because I'm not going to look up all these videos." So um, I put the links in there. So now, if you don't have a link, your nomination does not count. Ooh. So make sure you you got to go back. And Lyle, sorry, Lyle went back. Lyle texted me the other day, and he said, "Man, this is tough because now I have to go back and watch videos." And I was like, "Yeah." We're getting that screen time, baby. Getting the minutes. 
<laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome, YouTubers. You're welcome. <laughs> I stopped on the first question. I'm like, I'll do this later. <laughs> Thank you, LG Bass. Awesome. Boom. <laughs> it was easy for me to go back because the nomination form sent me the receipt. So it yeah. showed me everybody that I wrote down. But then I had to go back through my YouTube history because I did rewatch videos trying to think of the right one, but I didn't give Kevin the link. Just like, he said. <laughs> like hey, man, well, and he texted me. He's like, do you really need these links? I was like, uh, well, yeah, but you're Michael Murillo. So, I'll <laughs> but then like chunky show, I promoted it in his chat and then a bunch of his fans just to chunky. Did you know that before I reset it, you were nominated three times for flathead of the year. What? <laughs> How can that they be? just they went and wrote your name down in every every slot, oh, and I was like, "Yeah, this is not going to work." <laughs> I've never caught a flathead in my I life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to text Ma I had to text Matthew Baker because he got nominated for Kayak Fisherman of the Year, and I was like, "Do you fish out of a kayak?" He goes, "No, God." No. <laughs> hey, you know what? My fans love me that much, you know. They I'm do, like man. They do. <laughs> but unfortunately, I had to delete those nominations. Oh. Uh, yeah. Lord. Hey, if they're true fans, they'll come back and they'll put you back in there with the links. <laughs> uh -oh. But hey, I, I really appreciate everybody coming in. Please go share um, those links to the the Golden Whiskers. Um, also, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Um, check out everybody's links that people are posting. Thank you, Mark, and thank you, Chad, and those of you who've been doing that. Um, Again, every I think we got twenty five dollars a night. Whatever YouTube takes, I don't know what is that chunky after after it, it, YouTube. It's like I told you, it depends on what mood YouTube's in. It's either thirty <laughs> or forty percent. It's somewhere between there. <laughs> so Wednesday night, I had one hundred and ten dollars in super chats, and I got sixty three of it. So what's the percentage? Yeah, I was almost forty percent. <laughs> I told you, it depends what. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But even even my YouTube profit that I get, which is minuscule, I think one over outdoors texted me the other day. He said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll take you to McDonald's and get you a, get you a dollar store uh, dollar dollar menu for with my YouTube earnings." But everything that I earn um, up to October thirty first is going to go towards those awards. And why I say October thirty first is because I need to order them at that time to get them in. Um, okay. I don't play around with due dates. I'm not even going to, I want to have them sitting in here with dust on them by the time the award gets around. <laughs> right. uh, Chunky, any final, final thoughts? Um, I just, I, I'm happy that I'm here and I want to thank you, Kevin and Mr. Marillo for everything y'all do. I love both of y'all. I love everyone who's here in chat, even though I don't know who's here, but you're, if you're here watching one of us three, I love you. You're one of my friends. Yeah, there, there's 60 people in here. I love um, all the awesome people. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I have I have PayPal. Um, you know, I haven't put it in my in my uh, description or anything. So if you if you want to donate that way, please uh, email me palmetocats at gmail .com, and I really appreciate that. Michael Marillo, final thoughts. Sixty people is that enough people for you to give a blue kick clicker to? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. It's in my book bag. Anna, can you bring me that blue clicker out of my book bag? It's by uh by my spot on the couch. I have a spot on the couch, y'all. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have a spot in in your house. Just me? What like a talking? spot you always sit in. That that's your spot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Chunky doesn't, I guess. Chunky. Where I eat. Where I eat. That's my spot. Where I eat. Sofa, the sofa, I have two spots. This is wherever the dog's not laying at because dog has priority over Thank me. You. So. Did you put fish on it? She put 9,100 fish on there. Woo! She's been killing it. Oh, 28. I had it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so this blue clicker, um, Terry Lane, or somebody won it. No one, maybe it was Terry. Uh, he said he just wouldn't use it and that he wanted to donate it back so that we can re-give it away. So thank you. I think it was Terry who won it last time. Um, let's see. Fishing and stuff. What do you say? So my vote don't count because I voted for Kevin. That's not right. It really does count, Keith. I wasn't going to say who, who nominated me, but, dude, that hit right here, man. Wow. Like, somebody like Keith that, Hey, Keith is you know, in the house. Where yeah, he's in the house. Hey, oh, I, I, it's right oh, there. Oh, okay. 
don't know if you can see that, but it's awesome. It's for four bucks, yeah. you can't beat it. Anyways. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> so these are clickers. Um, we used our green one today. We, we put eight on it today. Um, nice. And that, that video is going to be coming out. I'm super stoked that we <laughs> caught fish today because it's going to be awesome. Blue clicker. Uh, we got 60 people in here. So um, Elston, um, actually, Marillo, my esteemed guest, I want you to go ahead and have a number in your brain. You got it? Uh, what to what? If, one to 200. Okay. okay. If you don't trust, if you don't trust Michael Marillo, then You're I'm sorry. Really know me though. Pick one you want yeah. number. You can't go over. Close hey, how about over. this? How about let's do this then, just to show that I'm gonna um. Well, no, you can hear the clicker. Blah blah blah. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah okay i clicked it a bunch and i'm gonna keep clicking it one through 200 on your mark get set go only pick once without going one over. number one number without going over one through 200 closest to the number without going over only pick only pick one number yeah. don't be like chunky cats and put like five thousand of them in there. i've been disqualified a few times bro. so i'm I'm clicking this, so if y'all heard me clicking a bunch, y'all know it's not a low number. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael Marillo, what's your favorite food? Oh, wow. We oh, Lord. A, we have a restaurant here in Des Moines it's called Felix and Austin. And I, will, I would eat there every day if I were allowed to. Mm -hmm. and they make just the most amazing pizza and wings and fries mm, and all that stuff we're not supposed to have have you tried the did you try the boil i have not but i did go to the store so i have all of my items ready and i do Make have sure i didn't go over 200 <laughs> a big stock pot, or as big as it needs to be because if it's going to come out spicy i'll be the only one eating it Mm -hmm. So my brother Dan's like, you just let me know when it's ready. So right. he knows I'll probably be like, hey, I made too much, but I, we love shrimp and sausage and everything you threw in there. But right, I just hope it doesn't turn out to be that Midwest Mexican mistake like I'm afraid of. But my brother thinks it'll be all right. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, man! Like yeah. monsters, look, I'm ready bounce for the juice. Next live stream. Hey, listen, dude, you you honestly need to patent your own drink called Potomac Punch. Like, I keep putting that in there, and some people are probably getting annoyed that I put it in there, but that sounds so cool. Chunky's Potomac Punch. I'm telling you, man. I got a, I got a business mindset, man. You need to. All right. Stop picking. Stop picking. All right. Y'all ready for the number? Who's going to help me? uh let's see betty jean would you mind helping me and welcome betty jean betty jean and stan and uh, anybody else who wants to help the number is 116 Ooh. 116 um i had stopped clicking so 116 whoever's closest without going over and they had to have picked only one number i think i saw a few <laughs> So what, what other stickers you got back there, buddy? Um, oh, boy. Let's see. Um, we have, of course, mine, uh, Chad Ferguson, uh, Catfish Edge, Muddy River Catfishing, um, Whisker Seeker, um, Mike Chavez. Who's that? Who's that? Palomino Cat. Pa Palomino Cats. There we go. That's Palomino <laughs> Cats. <laughs> and let's see here. We have two more. Then I just got this one from Ohio Catfishing. Um, and then Dale Stackle. Derek. Dale Stackle. So um, I I am going to um, I would have done it this weekend, but it rained a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna decorate the inside panel of my pontoon boat because I really like the clean look on the outside. But I'm gonna decorate the inside with stickers. So any of you with YouTube channels that want some uh, free advertisement on my boat on the inside when we you know when we put a fish down, your logo is right there. Send me your send me your logo. My um my PO box is in the description, so send that out. All right, who won? Anna won? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. All right, so who is the next one after Anna? Because she's already got a green clicker. Uh, 
at least you, you don't have to pay shipping on that one. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so, and my wife is Little Buckets of Sunshine, Anna. So, um, she's got a YouTube channel. Mike, you look like you're concentrating, buddy. I'm trying he's to look. I always do the numbers. <laughs> he's yeah, looking back. At, I, I can tell he's looking. All right, Mike, this might be hard for you to answer. And, and, um, but since we're waiting, um, what is a, U- a YouTube channel? I didn't say the YouTube channel, but a YouTube channel that you look forward to new content coming out and you can't wait to watch it. Minus Chunky and myself. Okay. Um, it's, it's, uh, the, the first one that comes to mind is Beater. And it's because usually I'm, I'm on my way to work. And I think he does like an early AM release, and then he I'm does. driving, and I can see on my watch there's Dieter's picture, the the thumbnail, and I'm like, I gotta get to the computer because I gotta see what this is about. And sometimes I'll get there like 17 minutes after, and I'm I'm still just amped up to watch it. And uh, so I think that there's a, a real consistency there that makes me pick Dieter, but also too. I can watch this stuff all day. It's crazy. I get I get sucked right into it. The thumbnails are awesome. Just the way that he speaks, uh, the way that he teaches, because I really feel like I need to try to learn more from everybody, especially during these weeks and months where I struggle. Um, another one, but it's not a catfishing channel, I would say uh, Carl and Alex Fishing. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Now they do catch well catfish, but they're mm. big time carp anglers. Oh yeah, yeah. The the they're like um, younger guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that so, the video quality is amazing. They're they're incredible. They actually quit their job, and now that's their job. Wow. But uh, I, but I don't I don't get them you know all those days in a, as, as frequent as I get stuff from Peter and uh, and this. This last week, I have been stuck on fishing and stuff. So I'm I'm a huge fan of so many different channels. I know you are. That's why I didn't put you on the spot. Yeah. You know. Earlier. Yeah, Dieter, we know you were first, but you can only pick one number, buddy. So you got a shout out, but you were disqualified. <laughs> He's already got a bait clicker anyway. So we lost Marillo for a second. Uh, Kevin, I don't like the sound of that. Sound of what? I don't know what that means. He said, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Thank you, buddy, Fit from fishing and stuff. Well, I hate to end the show with Michael not in. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy's so, gone. So, come Chunky, back. until he comes back, we'll give, him a, we'll give him a few minutes to come back. What's uh, What can we look forward to the next live stream? Well, we're trying to hit 5,000, and we're really, really close. And when we hit 5,000, during the live stream, we're going to be giving away two fishing rods. The two rods we'll be giving away are, are right here. This is the spinning whisker seeker medium heavy and the casting. And they've been customized by me. They have fluorescent paint and they also have glow in the dark. So something different. So awesome. Yeah. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to Chunky Cats, listen, he's blowing up, man. He's almost to uh so Bass Troller. Bass Troller, uh I'm sorry. Bass Trollers, send me an email, palmettocats at gmail.com. Or contact me on Facebook or Instagram with your uh, shipping information, and I'll get that out. I still haven't mailed that bait board out. I'm kind of afraid to take it to the post office because it's going to be super expensive <laughs> to ship. It's like 15 pounds. So I <laughs> anyway, Michael Marillo, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for coming on here and and spending your evening with us i know you're uh extremely dedicated to your family so i appreciate you taking time from them to come hang out with us and and then thank you chunky for coming in uh, i'm sure it made mike feel a little special when you popped in he did awesome i love it you yeah. gotta be on camera more often more videos uh, yeah. <laughs> my laptop died there i guess i didn't think to plug it in but uh, yeah. the battery <laughs> battery can't last more than 75 minutes we got we got to find a guy who can get a battery you i don't know. know you're the one <laughs> i know a guy 
the battery guy runs out of power. I, that, that just doesn't go together. Uh, <laughs> plug it in the wall. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was right in the middle of saying something there. Uh, uh, Roger Muskrat Adventures had made uh-huh. the comment there a few times that we, I, I hadn't had the chance to circle back around thanking me for, you know, giving him some nice compliments and some encouragement. Uh, and something he said uh, that just shocked me was that he was really new to YouTube. I always feel like I'm like years late to the party. And I'm like, new to YouTube? This guy's magic on the camera. I was like, what are we talking about here? So just uh, just another thing to, to tell all, all you uh, content, the YouTubers, YouTube, I'll use the term YouTubers, uh, you know, keep doing it. Keep trying. Uh, there's those of us out here that, that watch and just love it. We just eat it up. And uh, I really appreciate all that. So, yeah, and it, it really means a lot to us that uh, you know that uh, you know people watch and they really get some a lot out of it. Uh, one more little quick thing because you just you just sparked it in my brain, and I I got to get it out. So someone mentioned to me uh, yesterday that you know there's people that go fishing on camera, and then there's people that tell stories. And I'm glad that there's a spot for both of us, um, you know, because although I, I consider myself an average angler and I can catch fish if I need to, I, I haven't caught any giants and I'm probably not gonna, if I get lucky and slip up on one, I don't go hunting them. You know, I just like going out there and catching fish and, uh, spending time with people. So I'm glad that there's a, um, I'm glad that there's a an avenue or a place for both of us. Uh, you know, some of us kind of meld meld it together, which is even better. Um, you know, I just I just appreciate that there's there's still a spot for both of us. So anyway, sorry I fumbled with my words there, but uh, I hope y'all picked up what I was putting down. <laughs> cool. Well, hey guys, I'm gonna pray us out unless y'all got anything else to say. All right, cool. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this. Uh, these two men in here tonight, I thank you for who they inspire. Uh, one each a different way. One through the power of, of video and, and chat and fishing and glowing rods, Lord. And one in another way. One that inspires. One that lifts you up. One that sends you encouragement. And one that uh, brings you ideas in different ways of looking at stuff. Lord, you've blessed all of us in a certain way and we all have a spiritual gift and i just thank you for these spiritual gifts for these two men and everyone everyone out there everyone in chat from the youngest kid to the oldest person in there everyone has a certain spiritual gift that god has given you given us and lord i just thank you and i just i ask that you bless them and i ask that you uh, give them the courage to find out what their spiritual gift is and and then use it Lord, I also thank you for this platform where I can share my love for you. I thank you for this platform where I've made so many awesome friends. Uh, and thank you for my family who always supports me, especially my smoking hot wife. Lord, uh, I just thank you so much for everything you've done, everything you've blessed me with. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. Go subscribe to... Elston Perez, so you get it at five thousand, and you can win the other rod because I'm gonna win the uh, the bait casting. The bait casting. <laughs> Mike, Mike has a Mike. Uh, you know, he says he's a he's a um a watcher, but he also has a YouTube channel. He posts little clips every once in a while. You gotta go check out the Ferris wheel one that he just posted. <laughs> it it will make your day. <laughs> <laughs> go check it out go vote for the golden whisker awards email me if you need those links and uh go check out dinks outdoors uh that young man is going to be something awesome he's already awesome but he's going to be amazing uh, and go even higher than any of us could go i'm sure anyway y'all thanks for coming in uh until next time happy fishing take care guys <laughs>